just for our viewers, I, I would like to uh, explain that when we are talking about rehoming, we are talking about families who are ready to offload their kids uh, to perfect strangers. It's uh, essentially uh, an internet-based community of people who can no longer deal uh, with, uh, with the challenges presented by their kids, and they're ready to give them up to perfect strangers without governmental oversight, just a quick exchange of letters or photos, and uh, children are um, handed over to uh, different caretakers. But since you contested uh, the numbers and the, the spread of that phenomenon, let me just mention that Reuters analyzed just one Yahoo group, and that Yahoo group had more than 5,000 messages offering children or new homes for them. About 70% of children advertised there were foreign born. So it seems that uh, there is a tendency for foreign kids to be offered for rehoming. I think that's flat out untrue. I think it's a tiny phenomenon compared to the number of international adoptions. And I think that the people who don't like international adoption, as apparently you do not, and as UNICEF doesn't regularly love the fact that occasionally scandals show up because those scandals can be used as a way to help shut down international adoptions. You're being a bit unfair on me because I've never argued for shutting down international adoption. What I'm arguing for is a more critical and more scientific approach and more systematic approach to taking care of those children. And uh, again, b going back to the Reuters investigation, uh, I think they calculated that uh, on that uh, community board alone, more than s somewhere around 200 children were offered. And they also found that child abusers, convicted child abusers, got access to those kids through this whole rehoming phenomenon. So nobody's arguing here that we should, you know, chain uh, those children to institutions. But sometimes I think we, we need to take a bit more critical approach and rather than promoting this rosy picture of international adoption. And what I'm saying is, Overall, it's an amazingly rosy picture in that adopted kids, international as well as domestic, are treated better than regular kids growing up in untroubled biological families in the United States. There is less maltreatment in, in all the studies that, in which people keep track of maltreatment statistics. So I'm not going to talk more about Reuters. You can conduct the rest of the interview yourself. I'm not going to conduct an interview in which we focus on a tiny you know, a phenomenon that has nothing to do with the sort of underlying truth of how well kids do when they're kept in institutions as compared to how well they do in international adoption. Now, one